My cousin is in the process of fixing up his boat for the summer. New motor, new seats, new fittings, new wiring. He's also sanding the aluminum and repainting the exterior. Uh, it's been a huge job. He's using a special maritime boat paint. Uh, it's actually rather expensive, but it prevents barnacles or seaweed or any other creatures from clinging to and growing on the hull. This paint is bright blue in contrast to the aluminum silver of the rest of the boat. The whole thing really does look good. Now, in order to do the hull, he had to sand the rough spots in the old paint. Uh, we loaned him a sander for this. Then he spent the day on the ground, lying on his back with a brush in one hand and the paint tray sitting next to him. Brush, brush, dip, brush, brush, shift over, brush, brush, dip, and so on until the hull was completely painted. It took an hour per coat. Then, once that had dried, he had to shift the boat in the trailer enough so he could paint the spots where the hull had been in contact with the trailer. Then he let that dry, and then he had to repeat the whole thing. There were actually several coats. Painting took most of the day. Now, early on, during the first coat, I believe, he was lying on the ground painting away. He sat up and shifted over a bit and laid back down. Unfortunately, he dropped his head in the paint tray. Just then, my aunt was coming up the stairs to check on him, and so she finds him cursing a blue streak. Uh, literally, the back third of his head and hair was bright blue. Now, this is an oil-based paint. It's not going to wash out with soap and water. It makes sense. It is boat paint, after all. So my aunt drove up to the hardware store to get some thinner. My cousin sure as heck wasn't going to go. Uh, all painted blue like that, people might mistake him for a Montreal Alouettes fan. The nice people there helped her find what she needed. Unfortunately, they were out of the mild, no-smell, modern paint thinner. She ended up with a gallon of old-fashioned, be careful that it doesn't dissolve the brush paint thinner. So, ten minutes later, they're out in the yard using the thinner and a supply of paper towels and an old fine tooth comb to get the paint out of my cousin's hair. My aunt is wearing an apron, safety glasses, and long rubber gloves while she pours the noxious liquid on his head. It looked a bit odd, to say the least. Uh, not sure what the neighbors said, but they must have wondered. Finally, though, after much washing and combing and rinsing and combing and scrubbing and combing, all the blue was out. My cousin is, in fact, none the worse for wear. In fact, he claims that his uh, hair has never felt so soft. Which kind of makes me wonder what kind of shampoo he normally uses. <laughs>